When it comes to learning skills, you want to learn not only your major skills, but also your minor skills. And I'm talking specifically about your natural minor skills, as there are different types of minor skills. You have the natural minor scale, you have the melodic minor scale, and you have the harmonic minor scale. We're only going to be sticking with the natural minor scale for today. By the way, I am Kadrian, the Sax Habit Coach, and I help absolute beginners and beginner saxophone players learn faster by using practice habits and routines to get better on their horns. So you want to practice your natural minor scales along with your major scales, and that way you will learn faster because the natural minor scales share the same notes as the major scale that you're learning. So for example, the natural minor of C major is A minor, it's the relative minor, and they are the exact same notes. The only difference is that you're going to start the scale on a different note. The root note is going to be different, and that is going to determine the quality of the scale, making it major versus minor or minor versus major. So in this video, I'm going to show you three ways how you can find or learn to create your natural minor scales. So the first way is the easiest way, and that is once you know your major scales, then it's easy to make the natural minor. So let's take C into context. And we are going to label the degrees of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? So to make the relative minor of C major, the relative natural minor, all you do is go to the sixth degree of the scale, and that is going to be A, and all you do, you make that the root. So to get the A natural minor scale, it's going to be A, B, and that is your A natural minor scale. G major, to get the relative minor, you do the same. G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp. And then you go to the sixth degree of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now it is E minor. So we're going to go E, and that is your E minor. How about D major? So you go to D major. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp. You go to the sixth degree. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is going to be your B natural minor, so that's going to be B. How about A? We have A, B, C sharp, B, E, F sharp, and C sharp. Sixth degree is going to be F sharp, okay? So you go F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, A, and E, and that's your F sharp natural minor. By the way, the circle of fourths and fifths is a very powerful tool that you should develop knowing or understanding as it will really help you as you become better at understanding music theory. I've left a link in the description below. You can download that for free, and there's an empty one for you to practice labeling the circle of fourths and fifths. So where are we now? We're at E, right? So E, so the sixth degree, one, two, three, four, five, six, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, C sharp. So the natural minor or relative minor of E major is C sharp. All right, let's keep going. D flat. D flat has five flats. So D flat, E flat, F, D flat, A flat, D flat, C. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have B flat, C, D flat, D flat, F, sorry, D flat, A flat. Okay, so the relative minor or natural minor of D flat major is B flat or D flat, harmonically is the same as C sharp. How about A flat? A flat has four flats. A flat, B flat, C, B flat, B flat, F and G. Okay. So we go to the sixth degree. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we get F. So we have F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat. How about E flat? E flat has three flats. E flat, C, B. So we go to the sixth degree of E flat, which is going to be C. So we go C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, and B flat. How about B flat? B flat has two flats. B flat, C, D, 
E flat, F, G, and A. So we go to the sixth degree, which is G. So we have G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, and F. How about F? Okay, no problem. F has one flat. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E. Okay, we go to the sixth degree, which is D. So we have D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C. After you would have done all of those, you could simply go on the circle of fourths and fifths to find your relative minor, okay? So let's say you're in the key of C. We can label the inside of the circle of fourths and fifths. So to find your relative minor, you could do it two ways on the circle of fourths and fifths. You can count from the note itself and you'd have to count four. So to find the relative minor, you'd go C1, G2, D3, and A4. The next way, which is simpler, is just to skip the note, okay? So you want to find the relative minor of C, just skip the C and count three. So you go G, D, and A, and that is your relative minor, and then you're going to lay, label it on the inside. So we're going to call this A with a small m, okay? And then for the G, skip a note, so one, two, three, and that would be E, and you put in your E, minor. How about D? One, two, three, and you're going to get B minor. Okay? How about A? One, two, three, that is going to be your F sharp minor. How about E? One, two, three, that's going to be your C sharp. How about B? We go one, two, three, and this is going to be not A flat, but we're going to use G sharp, okay? G sharp minor. How about F sharp, okay? So we'd have to have one, two, three, and that's going to be E flat, but E flat harmonically is the same as D sharp. So we're going to have D sharp minor. Because F sharp and G flat harmonically are the same, we could have written E flat, okay, if we're thinking G flat, but I'm not going to confuse you by writing the additional one on top. So now we're going to go with flats instead of sharp. So D flat, we go one, two, three, and that's going to be your B flat minor. A flat, we go one, two, three, and that's going to be F minor. E flat, we're going to go one, two, three, and one, two, three, and that's going to be your C minor. For B flat, we're going to go F, C, and G, so we're going to go G minor. And then for our F, we go C, G, and D, and that is your D minor. So those are two ways how you can learn to find your relative minors, your natural minor scales, okay? So the next way is by using a keyboard or having a visual representation of one. So let's say you're in the key of C major and you want to find the relative minor. All you do is go down three semitones or a tone and a half. So from C to B is a semitone, that's one, to B flat, that's two, and to A, that's three, and that's going to land you at a minor. What about D? Okay, you're at D, you go to D flat, that's one semitone, C, that's one semitone, go down to B, and that is going to be your B minor. Basically, all the scales, whether they are scales with sharps or scales with flats, that's the same process. So let's do a scale that is a flat scale, E flat. So to find the relative minor, we will go E flat to D is one, okay? To D flat, it's two, and to C, that's three. So C minor would be the relative of E flat major, okay? Let's do another one, A flat, okay? A flat, so A flat to G is one, to G flat, that's two, to F. So F minor would be the relative minor. So that's the way. And if you're on the keyboard itself and you want to find the relative minor, you could do it the same like we did with the scales when we wrote them out. C, D, E, F, G, A, okay? Sixth degree of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, D major. One, two, three, four, five, six. B, okay? And you can do that for all your scales to find the relative minor scales. Okay, Saxo friends, I hope that you found this information informative. Do remember to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps. As always, 
push, play until something happens. Peace.